It's that time again, checkpoint exercises. Uh, hopefully you've gotten everything up to this point. If you haven't, please contact your, your instructor and ask him or her for help. The instructors at Mizzou K-12 are here to help. You just need to reach out to them. Now that said, if you need to view any of the, the, the problems here, we're going to work out every single one of the checkpoint exercises. We start with number one, which gives us three squared squared cubed. And again, just one base. We're taking an exponent to an exponent to an exponent. So we can multiply the exponents because we're taking a power to a power. But we'll work from the inside out. Three squared squared. We multiply the exponents. Two times two. So that's three to the fourth. We are still cubing it. So that's three to the fourth cubed is going to be three to the twelfth. And again, that is a perfectly acceptable answer. If you did want to go ahead and find the the whole number value, that would be 531,441. With problem two, we're looking at a product inside the parentheses and everything being taken to an exponent. And again, when we have nothing but multiplication or division, inside the parentheses. Not when we have addition and subtraction inside the parentheses, but when we have just multiplication and or division, we essentially can distribute that exponent to each one of the terms being multiplied. So we'll go ahead and write that out. This is the same thing as two to the fourth times x cubed to the fourth times y to the fourth times z squared to the fourth. Then it's just a matter of, first we'll simplify the numerical value, two to the fourth, two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. Two multiplied four times is 16. x cubed to the fourth, that's the same thing as x to the three times four, which is x to the twelfth. That's still being multiplied by y to the fourth, and then z squared to the fourth is z to the two times four, which is z to the eighth. With number three, two a to the sixth squared. First, we'll simplify what's on the inside. The inside parentheses, it's just multiplication, two times a, it's being taken to the sixth power, so that's the same thing as two to the sixth times a to the sixth, it's all being squared. We'll do it again, two to the six times two is two to the twelfth. A to the six times two is a to the twelfth. Again, perfectly acceptable answer unless it says to you know fully simplify to a whole number for any numerical values. But if we took two to the twelfth, that's 4,096 and we still have a to the twelfth. All right, number four, six squared squared. That's six to the two times two, which is going to be six to the fourth. And again, if you want to write that out as a numerical value, six to the fourth is 1,296. All right, with number five, we're given that we have a square. Each side of the square is given by three a squared b to the fourth centimeters, and we want to know the area. So we'll say this is S, the length of each side. And we know that area of a square equals S squared. So we substitute 3A squared B to the fourth. Again, that's being squared. That's the same thing as three squared times A squared squared times b to the fourth squared. And again, because only multiplication is involved inside the parentheses, that exponent applies to each term individually. And again, just a caution, that does not apply to addition and subtraction. If we had three plus a squared, uh, six to the fourth, we couldn't do that. But since it is multiplication, we can do this by simplifying with applying the exponent to each term. So three squared is nine, a squared squared is a to the fourth, because it's two times two. 
and b to the fourth squared is b to the eighth. b to the four times two, which is b to the eighth. And let's not forget, we were given centimeters. This is area, so our response is going to be in centimeters squared or square centimeters.